One very dominant negative quality of Fred Phelps is the fact he wallows in self-pity. He's always talking about how Westboro Baptist Church is mistreated, how they are wrong. He uses the word persecution a lot. Now indeed they face difficulties, but it's all in how you frame it according to the motivational speakers. I once embrace self-pity. I came to this realization that self-pity wasn't working for me. And then part of me said, well, it's working for other people, so why can't it work for me? But I decided it's not working for me, so even if it works for other people, I need to give it up. So I did. Now, I haven't given up every negative emotion because Albert Ellis says some negative emotions are perfectly acceptable, such as frustration, irritation, annoyance, regret. But he says if the emotions are rigid, which self-pity is, then it is wrong. I came to this realization that people don't like to hear pity and they don't like to hear boasting. What was the common link between the two? After I had the insight, I went to, I found out, I read some stuff about self-pity. I found out about John Piper. And this is what he has to say about self-pity and pride and boasting, I'm sorry. Both are manifestations of pride. Boasting is the response of pride to success. Self-pity is the response of pride to suffering. Boasting says, I deserve admiration because I have achieved so much. Self-pity says, I deserve admiration because I have sacrificed so much. Boasting is the voice of pride in the heart of the strong. Self-pity is the voice of pride in the heart of the weak. Boasting sounds self-sufficient. Self-pity sounds self-sacrificing. The reason self-pity does not look like pride is that it appears to be needy. But the need arises from a wounded ego and the desire of the self-pitying is not really for others to see them as helpless, but heroes. The need for self-pity does not come from a sense of unworthiness, but from a sense of unrecognized worth worthlessness. It is a response of unapplauded pride. Motivational speakers say you turn every negative into a positive instead of him dwelling on persecution, persecution, persecution. He could frame it differently. We all have our challenging circumstances. I'm not saying you have to enjoy them. It's better to get frustrated, feel your feelings, but don't think you don't deserve it. We all deserve suffering. It's about entitlement when you get down to it. And pride says, I don't deserve that. So don't wallow in self-pity like Fred Phelps.